my name is Claudia and I work with Arapahoe County CSU Extension here in Colorado. We are getting ready to start our STEM kitchen science experiment. So we're in my kitchen and we're going to be doing some fun science experiments that you guys can do at home with some household items that most all of us have inside our kitchens or pantries or uh, various locations in our house. So we look forward to doing some fun experiments with you. In this next experiment, we're going to look at density. So we're going to create a lava lamp. And we're going to need a few things for that, most of which you guys should have in your household. You're going to need vegetable oil, a plastic bottle, a funnel, food coloring, water, and some type of fizzing uh, antacid type um, tablet. To start off with this experiment, we are going to put uh, a little bit of water into our plastic bottle. So we're going to fill it up probably about one fourth of the way. Um, so not a whole, whole lot. So I'm going to use my funnel and pour my water in there. So that's about all the water that you want to put inside there. Alright, now I'm going to put my vegetable oil in there. And what we're going to do with our vegetable oil is we're almost going to fill it to the top. So I'm going to probably leave about an inch or so at the very top that's going to be open. But we'll put a lot, quite a bit of vegetable oil inside there. Again, we're going to use our funnel. So as you can see, our oil is coming to the top of our bottle, whereas our water is still down here in the bottom. I'm going to put this on a plate. So next I'm going to put a couple drops of food coloring into my lava lamp. You can see that food coloring is going to the bottom of our bottle. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our um, antacid here. And I'm going to break one of the tablets in half. So I have just half of a tablet and going to, first I'm going to mix that food coloring up a little bit in the bottom so you can kind of swirl your bottle around a little bit. There we go. So that mixed our food coloring in with the water that was at the bottom. So now I'm going to drop our antacid into our plastic bottle. And it immediately sinks to the bottom. And you'll notice when we dropped our antacid in there, we now have bubbles that were created. So this is our lava lamp. Uh, one cool thing that you guys can do with this is you can turn your lights down and you can actually shine a, a flashlight or something through that. I would suggest maybe putting a lid on it just to not make too big of a mess. But what happens in this experiment is that we have water in oil. The oil is less dense than the water, which means it's lighter. So it stays to the top of our water that's in the bottom. Now, the food coloring has the same density as the water. So when we dropped it in, it sunk to the bottom where the water was. Now, the antacid tablet it creates a bubbling effect because it reacts with water. And when it reacts with water, what it does is it creates a gas. 
and that gas is carbon dioxide. So I'm going to put another tablet in there, half tablet, and that gas is trying to escape. So it's at the bottom here and it comes to the top of our bottle. Now what's cool is since I have the lid back on here, the gas is building up inside of our bottle. So I'm going to release some of that so our bottle doesn't explode. And but from this experiment, you can just see those, uh, those droplets of the water coming up with that carbon dioxide gas. And you have your very own lava lamp. You can see it really fizzing on this side. Feel free to take pictures of your experiments that you guys are doing at home and share them on our Arapahoe County 4-H Youth Facebook page. We'd love to see what you guys are doing out there.